start with the second case in the series. And this is another CT scan brain of a patient who was involved in a motor vehicle accident. And if you just review these images as I scroll through these and just make a mental note of uh, what you think the findings are. And then will we pause? So the findings, uh, as we start to scroll from uh, this area, you can see that there is an area, uh, let me window it a bit for you. So there is an hyperdense area in this uh, region uh, of the temporal lobe, which is uh, more significantly as seen in this part, so lateral part of the temporal lobe. And uh, what we see, another finding is that this is, and uh, there is another uh, subtle hyperdensity here, which is not seen on the contralateral right side. And as I move uh, up into the upper parts of the brain, you will appreciate that uh, there is mild difference uh, between the sulci on the right side and the sulci on the left side with relative effacement. What you would note other uh, finding is that there is another linear hyperdense area which is running all the way here, which is although a subtle, but if I make it on the coronal view, so you can see that on this side, uh, right side, the sulci are pretty clearly visualized, but on the left side, there is another hyperdense area which is running all the way here up to the temporal lobe. And that's the site of the injury, which we have seen on the axial slices as well. So this case uh, is uh, indicating that there is a cortical contusion in this region. And also there is a mild uh, subdural hemorrhage uh, collection uh, running along the left cerebral hemisphere along the convexity. And uh, uh, the reason uh, less hyperdense is that uh, the patient might be suffering from some anemia. Uh, this is an uh, old age female patient. Thank you.